All of us at one time were sinners. All of us stood in darkness, separated from the light because of our sin. And Scripture says that we were enemies of God. We don't like that term. But we are enemies of God until we come through Jesus Christ and He transforms us and He makes us new. Folks, we need to change our story. Too many people are trying to fix their life with self-help books and self-help guides, trying to make our life acceptable to the world. when what we need to be doing is pursuing Jesus Christ. I cannot remove my own sin. But God. But God. Offers me forgiveness. You see, our life needs to reveal the new you that God is transforming you into, that God is creating in you. And when those voices of self-doubt and condemnation come into your life, I've heard people say, whenever you hear Satan whisper and talk to you, you need to, it says you need to remind him of his future. That sounds good, but I'm going to tell you this. When those Voices of self-doubt begin to come into your life that say, you're not good enough. You're not wanted. You're not needed. If they only knew who you were, what you'd done. You need to remind yourself. That's right. But I'm not who I was then. I am who God says I am. I am a redeemed child of God, made holy through the blood of Jesus Christ, called a child of God. I am a part of the redeemed. I am forgiven. And my future is set because I have life, forgiveness, and hope. And God has called me to share what he has done in me. Just as he told the gathering demoniac, go and tell what the Lord has done for you. We need to share what God has done for us. Just as Mary Magdalene did, we need to let our life be transformed and not let our history prevent us from being a follower and disciple of Jesus Christ. We need to be children of of the light, who share that light with a world that needs that message. This morning, we're going to sing a song of invitation. And if you'd like to respond, we invite you as we stand and as we sing. I heard an old joke.